Hi, thank you for joining me today. We're reading through A Course in Miracles, The Daily Lessons, and today we are on Workbook Lesson 160. I am at home. Fear is the stranger here. I am at home. Fear is the stranger here. Fear is a stranger to the ways of love. Identify fear and you will be a stranger to yourself, and thus you are unknown to you. What is yourself remains an alien to the part of you which thinks it is real, but different from yourself. Who could be sane in such a circumstance? Who but a madman could believe he is what he not, is not and judge against himself? There is a stranger in our midst who comes from the idea, an idea so foreign to the truth, he speaks a different language, looks upon a world truth, does not know and understands that what truth regards as senseless. Stranger yet he does not recognize to whom he comes and yet maintains his home belongs to him while he is alien. Now who is at home? And yet how easily it would be to say, this is my home, here I belong and will not leave because a madman says I must. What reason is there for not saying this? What could be the reason? What could the reason be except that you had asked this stranger in to take your place and let you be a stranger to yourself? No one would let himself be so dispossessed so needlessly unless he thought there was another home more suited to his tastes. Who is this stranger? It is fear or you who are unsuited to be the home which God provided for the son. No, sorry, I didn't quite do that right. Who is the stranger? Is it fear or you who are unsuited to be the home which God provided for his son? Is fear his own created in his likeness? Is it fear that love completes and is completed by? There is no home can shelter love and fear. They cannot coexist. If you are real, then fear must be an illusion. If fear is real, then you do not exist at all. How simply then the question is resolved. Who fears has but denied himself and said, I am the stranger here. And so I leave my home to one more like me than myself and give him all I thought belonged to me. Now he is exiled of necessity, not knowing who he is, uncertain of all things but this, that he is not himself and that his home has been denied to him. What does he search for now? What can he find? A stranger to himself can find no home wherever he may look, for he has made return impossible. His way is lost, except a miracle which will search him out and show him that he is no stranger now. The miracle will come, for in his home his self remains. It asked no stranger in and took no alien thought to be itself and it will call its own unto itself in recognition of its own. Who is the stranger? Is he not the one yourself calls not? You are incapable now to recognize this stranger in your midst, for you have given him your rightful place. Yet is yourself as certain of its own as God is of him, of his son? He cannot be confused without creation, about creation. He is sure of what belongs to him. No stranger can be interposed between his knowledge and his son's reality. He does not know of strangers. He is certain of his son. God's certainty suffices. Who he knows to be his son belongs where he has set his son forever. He has answered you who ask, 
who is the stranger. Hear his voice assure you quietly and sure that you are not stranger to your father, nor is your creator stranger made to you. Whom God has joined remain forever one at home in him, no stranger to himself. Today we offer thanks that Christ has come to search the world for what belongs to him. His vision sees no strangers, but beholds his own and joyously unites with them. They see him as a stranger, for they do not recognize themselves. Yet as they give him welcome, they remember. And he leads them gently home again where they belong. Not one does Christ forget. Not one he fails to give you to remember that your home may be complete and perfect as it is established. He has not forgotten you, but you will not remember him until you look on all he has, he, on all as he does. Who denies his brother is denying him and thus refusing to accept the gift of sight by which his self is clearly recognized and his home remembered and salvation come. I wanted to go back to this one sentence because I think it is so important. Is it fear or you who are unsuited to the home which God provided for his son? So what we're talking about here in that sentence, I believe, is that each of us has the ability to embody Christ within us. And so each of us is made to be a home for Christ. And I believe that's what this sentence is saying. The home to which God provided for his son. We're not talking about earth. We're talking about each of us. Each of us individually is the home provided for Christ. So um, I hope you have a great day with this today. If you need me, you can reach out 907-351-3003. Otherwise, I will see you here tomorrow um, for the next daily lesson. Namaste and much love.